Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we now pick up right where we left off. Say hi to the elevator, Henry. This is the first attempt since the jump cut. Now you are a worthy opponent. Gene was just cheap. This, this is skill. Alright, looks like he can counter me too, so let's just do this. Oh. Of course he can counter me, that's one of his signature moves. What's happening? Just trying to do it there, it didn't work. Fuck. Let's so there. Some kind of barbarian, you think? I'm not going to be able to resist attacking you? Just a moment, I need a lozenge. Okay. Where was I? Yes, that's right. Now I remember. Oh shit, he's doing the thing! How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, young man? What's the matter? Are you only good against opponents who don't know you're there? He doesn't know by the times he healed me. Oh god. He shouldn't be able to hit me. That should not have been a punch. My laws and trapper says don't give up on you, and so I shan't. Uh, 
I have the power of God and anime on my side. I thought you were going to do the other one. Yeah, that one. Let's go this way. Running. Uh oh. Lost the block because I was too far. Oh, fuck. Yeah, still got it. Henry, I haven't cracked the health box yet. Okay, now, now I'm bragging. Now I'm showing off. Now I need to focus more than ever. What you got? No. That's not your cat over there. I wouldn't feel kind of bad about killing you in front of something that loved you. You bastard! Wait, what? Damn it! That all you got, Travis? Don't make me laugh. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. Why the hell do you call me Travis? Travis, like you're my friend or something. Who the fuck do you think you are? You can't be serious. All this time you didn't realize. What are you talking about? I'm your twin brother. <laughs> what the hell? That's the craziest shit I've ever heard. Why would you bring up something like that at the very last minute of the game? <laughs> I would have thought you and the would have at least expected a twist of fate of some kind. What? <laughs> and hey, where's Sylvia anyway? She disappeared without a trace. Where the hell is she? You mean my wife. What? Wife? Yes, you know. Spouse. Soulmate. Henry's wife. Get the idea? When did you two get married? 
Oh, about ten years ago. Yeah, that's right. Because we were both in college at the time. Huh? Oh, shit! All news to me. I'm gonna need shock treatment to get over this one. <laughs> Sorry for all the trouble my wife has caused you. Forgive her. She caused me some trouble, all right. But it helped me clear up a lot of things. Ah, you know how women are. Especially my wife. A really big spender. Yeah, she knew my income wasn't enough, so every now and then she'd just disappear. She's a bad wife, but a good woman. What? Are you telling me that you and her... Oh, come on! <laughs> but Travis, my brother, we're similar in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Suddenly, you being my brother doesn't sound so awkward. <laughs> Let me ask you, how do you plan to put an end to all of this? Wait a sec, you want me to tie up all these loose ends? I don't think so. You're the protagonist. I'm just a cool, handsome foil who happens to be your twin brother. Hate to say it, but it's your job. I want to bail, but where the hell's the exit? Oh. There's no way out, is there? <laughs> no getting out, right, bro? That's right. All we can do is keep running. Then let's find that exit they call paradise. Let's go! Okay. What in the god good goddamn is going on? Well, I guess I found my thumbnail. <laughs> This is total fucking madness, and I love it. I love everything about it. Fine, you know what? I take it back. If this game looks the slightest bit interesting to you, I wholeheartedly recommend it to you, because everyone needs to experience this madness. <laughs> I can't wait for the sequel. I mean, technically, I could play it fucking next if I wanted to, but I don't want to burn out on the franchise, you know? So I think I'll go to something totally different after this. Something where the camera works properly. So does that mean Try Henry is coming back in the sequel? I realized I shouldn't look too closely at the art for uh, No More Heroes 2, because when I clicked on it to install it, you know, to do the throng game intro that I backed out of, uh, I realized one of the people in the art is uh, Shinobu. So I said, oh no, I'm not going to pay any attention to that in case there's someone else in there. <laughs> like Dr. Peace comes back to life, I don't know. You get haunted by the ghost of death metal. It still weirds me out that there's a guy whose singular job was to come up with the anime that uh, Travis is obsessed with. That's why I'm in the, uh, the default outfit. Right. There was a voice actor for the Drifter, but he doesn't say anything in this game. Just in that one trailer. God damn, that guitar. I notice they're not clashing here. It just looks like they're, a be they're like one second away from killing each other at the same time. Lyrics by Suda51. I didn't catch that the first time. What a fucking course it was. 
Why would I expect anything else? Bar pl oh yeah, bar plastic model. It's an actual bar. I guess Suda51 got the permission to use that. Uh, shout out to Sagittarius. Hanging out in the sky for thousands of years. That was a weird credit to see. Special thanks to all those guys. And to viewers like you. You know, the, there were, the controls took me a while to get used to. And it really helped once I realized that you basically need to go around with a lock on. Because otherwise, I, I remember doing a lot of whiffing right at the beginning. And, uh, just missing completely. So yeah, the lock on, absolutely vital. But the vibe of this game, I adore it! Like, like it, it allows me to look past the bugs and the gra- you know, and the 2007 Wii graphics, and the... Well, and the intentional, uh, tedious bits, even. I really like this game, and, uh... I think you should give it a shot. What the fuck?! You like this painting, don't you? Hmm. Let's go, Jean. Please tell me she doesn't have red eyes. So Henry and Sylvia have a kid and named it Jean. I know. Too bad there won't be a sequel. <laughs> well... I don't know what to make of that. Nice! Fucking Back to the Future reference! Oh, I'm sorry, it's Back to the Future 2, specifically. Yes, yeah, Back to the Future 2. That was the one they intended as a cliffhanger, so they could do the third one. The first one was self-contained. <sighs> well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and on behalf of myself, Travis Touchdown, Let's see, Thunder Ryu, Bishop from the Video Store, Dr. Naomi, uh, the Job Guy, the Area 51 Guy, uh, Lovikov, <laughs> am I missing anyone? Oh yes, and the K Entertainment Woman. And of course, on behalf of Jean the Cat, oh, it's the opening cutscene, uh, I thank you for joining me for Let's Play... Wait for it. <laughs> for Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog... I said that part already. And I truly hope you enjoyed this. Hope you liked this uh, adventure as much as I did. I, uh, hope you'll join me when I take a look at... Oh, I remember this one. The title, it's No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. More than that, hope you join me for, uh, hope you join me for my next Let's Play, whatever that might be. That's better. I like it. I'm kind of curious if they've added anything to the store now. But I don't know. The last few games I've been in... Oh, I've just realized 
Yeah, uh, actually, yeah, the last few games I've been in, I forgot to do the, uh, the achievements at the end. So, let's see. Uh, for the record, Family Drama, you have defeated Gene. Fraternal Strife, you have defeated Henry. That's what I meant by, wait, what? Because I saw Fraternal and realized that meant brothers. See, part-time job master earned nine gold medals on part-time jobs. <laughs> Eight out of 14. What? Gotta collect them all, collected 51 trading cards. No. Free Fight Master earned 10 gold medals on Free Fight missions. You're gonna need a Creed, earned 15 gold medals on Assassination missions. Bittersweet, sweeter than you thought? Just like Sylvia. What? Dump Donator, you somehow managed to visit every bathroom in Santa Destroy. Why don't you start living in one? Dial M for Massacre, use whatever means available to beat 510 regular enemies. It just says 100, so I guess it wasn't counting. Uh, Jim Rat, finished all of Ryu's instructions. You wanted that, and no more hero. You have accomplished everything. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Alright, uh, humor me. Okay. Huh, that's weird. Maybe there's something that only pops up in bitter difficulty then. All right. But the game is, I'm afraid, so I'm just gonna cut back to the apartment, cat pet the cat one more time, and then say goodbye. And I kind of already did, but you know what I mean. I'd like to take the opportunity to use this jump cut to give a very special shout out to the user identified as a period who gifted me this game. Thank you very much. This has been a very unique experience, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the sequels. I'd also like to take this opportunity to read out some explanations of everyone's favorite acronym one last time. Shout out to Yornick, who says on the subject of the uh, Gene boss fight, Well, that was... Unusual. Some might even say that this whole deal doesn't really fit into regular human logic. However, there's a reason for it. You see, LB Dollars stands for Larval Bug Dollars, because there's a small, but not statistically insignificant chance that this whole town is actually populated by aliens, who pretend to be human, and fail at it. <laughs> and shout out to Faye Otter who says, How have we all been so blind to the truth this entire time? LB Dollars clearly stands for Lovikov Balls! With the, uh, dollar sign on the S. And we're on the subject of, uh, Fay Otter. First the Garden of Madness, then the Forest of Bewilderment. What's next? Terrarium of Excitement? Pla plateau of Boredom? Tide Pools of Sleepiness? And, uh, finally, shout out to Roshan, who, uh, offers us something different, saying, Is no one really going to ask how a ghost wrote and delivered a letter into the middle of the woods on a path Travis would be running down, and there's zero environmental damage to it at all? No? Okay. That just must be an average thing that happens in forests that I'm unaware of, then. Hmm. Okay. I also stopped in at Beefhead Video on the way back to see if that thing finally came in, but it hadn't. Although I thought it had, because Bishop started a message I didn't remember ever seeing before, which was, uh, Oh, uh, you won't believe your eyes. I got it in through a route in Scandinavia. Behold, it's the kingdom of bootlegs. And then it was just no new videos. But, um... Yeah, one more fridge hit. <laughs> You hungry? So once again, I'm Burning Dogface, and I thank you for joining me for Let's Play No More Heroes. There, there. And once again, I hope you had a good time coming along this journey with me. I hope you'll join me when I get to No More Heroes too. 
and I hope you'll join me for my next video series. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later! <laughs>